Welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Elliot Morgan. And my name is Lee Newton. I do weird things with my hands, too. <laughs> New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg says he's totally cool with a proposed change in state law that would drastically reduce the amount of marijuana arrests in New York. Earlier this week, Governor Andrew Cuomo proposed cutting the penalty for public possession of marijuana. In New York, there is a stop and frisk policy that has led to a bunch of criticism. It kind of goes like this. Hey, minority youth. What you got there? A box of snow caps and an iPod. Yeah, well I think that iPod looks an awful lot like marijuana, so hands on the wall. Governor Cuomo stated there's a blatant inconsistency. If you possess marijuana privately, it's a violation. If you show it in public, it's a crime. It's incongruous. And it's inconsistent the way it's been enforced. There's only three weeks left of the legislative session, so the goal is to reduce the penalty for public possession of marijuana from a misdemeanor to a violation with a $100 fine. This would theoretically save thousands of New Yorkers, specifically black and Hispanic youths, a bunch of unnecessary arrests. Without this change, police officers can just tell youth to turn out their pockets and then say, I see marijuana. It's in the public now. And therefore, it's a crime. Both New York City prosecutors and police commissioner Ray Kelly are totally behind this idea since they raked in 50,000 of these types of arrests. But despite all of these proposed changes, actually smoking pot in the public would still be a misdemeanor. According to all the legalized weed people, 14 states have lowered the penalties for possessing tiny amounts of marijuana to fines. This movement began in the 1970s and since 1996, 16 states have legalized its use for medicinal purposes. New York is not one of those states. Out of the 94% of arrests that took place just in New York City, more than half of those were younger than 25, and 82% of those were black or Hispanic. So obviously something needs to be done with the way these kids are being arrested all the time. So the question is whether it's more important to keep marijuana as illegal as possible, as the Drug Free American Foundation believes, or to keep thousands of people from having a permanent mark on their record. So let us know what you think of this matter and why you believe it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button or click the annotation down below. Go to sourcefed.com for five daily stories and you know every other story you've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. We'll see you in a couple hours. Oh hello.